Oh my Gucci Spickly Scare, I'm just magical. Libra, welcome to your love tarot reading. Abracadabra, baby. Today we're in Venus Beach. We are doing you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person here in Cypress Paphos, baby. It is so beautiful. You know what? The day was overcast. It was so sad and cold. And then we got to the beach. I started filming and the sun came out, baby. Look, oh my gosh. All right, so let's see what is happening for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their person. We're doing you versus them, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, crabs on the beach. Oh my gosh. All right. Story of my love life, baby. All right, allegedly. All right. This is so, I'm so inappropriate already. Whenever the sun comes out, your mommy gets like so happy. All right, so we got all the cards. Let's see what is happening for the, we got sand in the cards. So scriptures. What is happening for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, Libra, you know, your mommy was having a difficult morning. And then the minute I left my house, it just like the sun came out. You're with me. I'm so grateful, baby. I'm so grateful for, I'm just so grateful for everything. And you be grateful too, Libra. You know why? Because you're scrumptious. Nobody's scrumptious like Libra. All right, so you got true love here. You have a person, you got a lover. All right, someone's in love, love, love with you. This is a douche flute, but they are in love with you. The, uh, the Ace of Cups and their feelings currently. So, you know, in this rift or separation, this is your December energy as well, I forgot to say. Um, this person still is holding that cup of love for you. You fill them, you fulfill them. They want to fill you up, whatever the situation is. They miss you, baby. Look at this beautiful dove. They miss you. You're like this dream. They just want to, like, I think this person was very gentle with you as well in their own little way. Maybe it's a douche flute, maybe it's a general giant, but it's someone who, is, this is not a nice person, you know, in everyday life, but with you, they were very, very, in their own way, maybe you didn't feel like they were, but in their own way, in their imagination, in a different nation, they were very gentle with you. They feel like even, like, touching you is like touching fine china, you know? It's like touching something scrumptious, something so sparkly and unique. They didn't want to hurt you. They want they want to glue all those pieces back together. They feel like you're just not interested anymore. <laughs> the hands man, baby. They feel like you're not interested. They feel like they took something too far and they do regret it. They would love to just be like, I'm so sorry, baby. You could have blocked them or you didn't respond to a message. Somebody could have sent you a message. You were like, talk to the hands, you know. The five of wands here and their intentions. They do want to work it out in some kind of a way, although there's still a little bit of lingering kind of, you know, argumentative energy inside of them. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So, also Libra, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you, I see you. I appreciate you, my baby. Give your mommy a kiss. I love you so much, Libra. As you know, I am a Scorpio, but I got uh, Libra in my 12th house and also in Vedic astrology, I'm a Libra rising. Ah, so I'm all about the Libras, baby. I was raised by a Libra too. My grandma is a Libra. So everything I know about, you know, everything is um, for, through the eyes of a Libra, I guess, you know? <laughs> Boo -boo. the 10 of wands. Yeah, this person was difficult to work with in the past. This is someone very difficult to work with. Let me, you know what, let me pull another card. Yeah, six of wands. This is someone, if it was a bimbo, himbo, anyone between you might on Tinder on a Tuesday, this is someone who really wanted to conquer you, but they did it in all the wrong ways. Difficult energy. This is someone who came to the connection already with a lot of burden. So this is a divorcee energy, you know, someone, you know, still bitter about that first divorce, still bitter about that first wife, took everything, you know what I mean? Husband, anyone in between. This is someone who has burdens. They're like, I got effed over in the past. I'm not going to let nobody eff me over again, you know. In the dating world, as you know, Bippo, there's a lot of people like that. And it's a difficult energy to work with because it's not your fault, baby. You did nothing to that person. <laughs> but they, you know, it's just, they're very emotionally burdened with a lot of bitterness towards an ex-partner. The Four of Swords, emotional unavailability, someone who was checked out of their emotions, didn't offer the kind of help and support that you needed to make the connection last and to make the connection flourish. There could have been a lot of silences between the two of you. 
There could have been also this person, I'm getting a sense of this person being overwhelmed in a false way. They could have been saying things like, well, Libra, I just don't know what you want. Like, I did, look at me. I did all these things for you. I got you a coffee at Starbucks. Like, why aren't you jumping for joy? <laughs> you know, like, why aren't you more grateful for, you know, the gift to the world that I am? And you just had, like, very healthy, normal, you know, like, run-of-the-mill boundaries. And it's like, this is such hard work, Libra. Like, what else do you want me to do? You know, what else do I need to do to get into the Libra palace? And you were coming at this person with the seven of cups. You could feel something was off about them. <clears throat> and what's off about them is their, you know, own insecurity and fear of love, fear of commitment. They came uh, at the connection with a bad attitude. If it was an established connection, you always felt gaslit by this person. This is someone who is struggling to be in the connection. This is someone who could not carry the weight of the connection with the Ten of Wands. This is someone who was always complaining that they have to pay bills. Somebody didn't want to be a protector and provider. Or didn't want you to be a protector and provider. You know, however, like, that kind of energy falls in your uh, specific situation. This is someone who was like you know, didn't want to pay the mortgage or always wanted you to pay more or do more or they paid and expected you to th do things in return or they did the child care and they expected you to pay, you know. It was like very burdensome energy. Someone who wasn't grateful for the fact that they had a family or for the fact that they had a connection with someone. If you didn't have kids, you know, you had your homestead, you had your situation, you had your sphere together. This person just wasn't grateful for the fact they had you and they had the, they had the privilege of taking care of their home. They always made it out like it was a big burden. But to other people, they were always like, oh, look at my perfect life. You know, on Instagram, everything was perfect. But when it came to actually interacting with this person, they were emotionally checked out the bill, the four of swords. Again, not a protector. This person was not protecting. They should have been protecting more. This is... Um, Divine masculinity as well, that is sleep. If you're dealing with a masculine energy, this is someone who is not, um, has not awoken. Uh, and you were always feeling like, I don't know, on paper, everything feels fine. Libra's always out there giving people chances. You're trying to be fair. But in the end, you were like, this, this isn't making sense. This person isn't shaping up. This person isn't giving me anything. They're not giving me emotional support. They're complaining about everything they need to do. Take, from taking out the trash to paying, you know, the bills, it was always like, wow, like what a, a labor, labors of Hercules. The Ace of Swords in the near future, if this person reaches out to you in the near future, it will not be in a kind way. Um, let's clarify this. Hmm. I do see them coming at you with love, though, because they do love you, but they effed it up. Yeah, the Empress. I think they will be reaching out. Okay, so in the next three hours, three days, three weeks maybe, this person is reaching out, but it's going to be kind of like a piercing, still like a combative energy, still not giving you the feels, still being kind of unscrumptious. Let's, let's say unscrumptious, all right? Um, but the Knight of Wands in the overarching energy for this person, what to expect from them. So they will be offering you love again. Question is, Libra, do you still want this person? Because I see they caused you so much drama. And they did everything wrong. It's like when they were with you, they did everything wrong. And now they're trying. They're going to try and do everything right. I see one false start. Because with the Empress energy, they're gravitating back towards you because they can't live without you. But they're going to F it up again. And then they're going to come back one more time. And they're going to offer you love. But what do you want, baby? You're at the bottom of the deck, Libra Justice. What do you want? That is the question. Let me know in the comments below, baby. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because that really helps your mommy out. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay spikely, stay good, just stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm.